Hello, once again, welcome to Adiotech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. Consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how we can easily create a simple logo by writing in a circle or even around a path. So these are the two things we're going to do. So you can check from here. This is basically a path that I've managed to write and then also I'll manage to write within a circle. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So without much ado, Let's jump right into action. So we're first going to create our main background. So let's go to file and we'll go to new and we're going to set our background to 10 by 10 inches and our background color will select any background color of our choice and just select any color. You can change any color at all anytime you want and click on create. So we're going to stick to this background and I'm going to go ahead and then to draw our circle. In order to do this, we're going to use the ellipse tool. So from the shape option, just select ellipse tool. And in order to get a perfect shape, hold down shift whilst you drag. Depending on the version of Photoshop you use, drag it this way and it's going to give you a perfect shape. Let's change the background to white because of what we want to do. We just want to stick to that. And I'm also going to give a stroke and I'm going to give it a dark stroke for this. I'm going to increase the size a bit. It's one pixels for now, so I'm going to increase it to around. So I'm going to leave it around 15. Okay, then I'll hit enter to confirm this. So my pixels around this, my stroke is around 15 pixels, and that is my first shape. We need to get a duplicate of this shape. As you can see, I have the main shape before the second one. So I'm going to have two circles. In order to do this, press Alt on your keyboard and then just drag this circle and I'm going to give you a copy of that. So from our layer panel, you can see we have a copy of another circle over here. We want to reduce this and then fit this into the middle. But before that, let's make sure we have a guide and we can see the center of this. We, in order to get a percentage or get a perfect division of your guide, you can go to the view icon and then go towards, towards new guide and then select 50 or just type 50%, type 50% and then click on OK. So you want horizontal and it will give a horizontal rule and then we also want a vertical one. You can still go to the process, the same process, go to new guide. This time I'll select horizontal and then also type what 50, 50 percent then click on OK. So this is going to give you the center of this. So you can and easily identify the center of this circle and then we can move around it. So we cannot reduce this in order to maintain our shape. Let's hold on shift whilst we drag this in in order to reduce this. So let's try and fit this to the center. Let's reduce it a bit because we're going to write within this. Okay, so this is exactly in the middle of the big circle. Okay, so now we have our main circle. This is the first one, the second one. And then we can go ahead and do the writing. But before that, I just put some custom shape within this. So assume it's a logo, you can do the customization. So in order to do that, I can just go to my shape, go to custom shapes, and then pick any shape of my choice. Then in this case, I use a simple shape over here. Just drag that and then just hold on shift in order to get a perfect shape. And then change the color to any color. Use that color. That's black. You can also pick that as well. And then use the move tool and then make sure this is also aligned to the center. Okay. So this is also aligned to the center and then we can go ahead and do the writing. So this is a very important part you need to pay attention to. Remember to subscribe and also turn on education because I'm going to have amazing tricks, tips for you on this channel. So you don't need to miss that. So stay tuned for all that. So let's go ahead and in order to do the writing within our circle, we're going to go back to our shapes and then use the ellipse tool. So pay attention to this. We are not going to go with the shape, but rather we're going to use a path. So select the path, and then we're going to make sure we drag this. But we first need to drag around and then hold down Alt. Once you drag, hold down Alt and then press Shift in addition to give you a perfect circle. So drag this, and then I think this is okay. So make sure you leave. Make sure you release your mouse first before you release your hand. So drag. Or then it's going to pick it from the center. But I want a perfect shape, so we'll press shift in addition. Just drag this. If you are okay, then release your mouse on this. Okay, once you release your mouse, then you can remove your hand also from the alt shift. So we now have this, and then we can go ahead and then type. So do, to do the typing, we'll go to our horizontal type tool, 
select that and then just click anywhere at all we want and then we cannot type on this path so you can see automatically it threw my path with the default text but i don't want that i'm going to type the text i want so i'm going to say welcome to my youtube or let me see how do you type youtube channel okay so this is what you're going to do and then we want this to move to the top part so just bring your cursor to the beginning and then just press the space bar on your keyboard in order to move this to the top of your circle so just press this and then until you get to the top of your circle as you want okay so i think this is perfect you can reduce the font size if you want so select all this we're going to change it to black so do and then select what a dark color and then that is okay and we want to reduce the font let's change everything to 30 the font size is going to be 30 and we'll go to our character from here if you don't have the character just go to the windows and then make sure this is checked and we can apply some vertical alignment to this some spacing to that and we also want to do some bit of modification we want this to move to the center of our circle so we have the baseline which is negative 70 let's change it to zero and see what is going to happen so i'll just hit enter and you can see it has moved this to the top so meaning we can actually do adjustment to the baseline so i'll select this and then put my mouse cursor there and press the down arrow key on my keyboard okay so we're going to reduce the baseline from here so it's zero now let's try reducing it so you can actually reduce the baseline and then make sure this will fit so that is around 10 it's okay and then we are good to go so we first have our first text over there and then the next thing to do now is to write the bottom part so let's say subscribe to my youtube channel and then remember to do that as well in order to support my channel we have our first text and then from the layer panel you can see we have that over here we can do the same process for the down one by duplicating the first one so just press ctrl plus g on your keyboard or command g on your mac and then it's going to give you a copy of that so you can see so you can turn the top one off and then we can move this down so we turn one off just use your type tool and then let's select this use your space bar and then we move that one to the bottom of this we can use let's first go back and then do some few adjustments but let's go back and pick our path selection tool and we have to do some few adjustments over here we have some direction to our path we can just move this around let's just move this around you can see what is happening this can easily do that modification for us yes i drag this here and then it's going to move the text down just use the arrow direction and everything to do that so i can go back and turn back the top one and you can see it's actually showing up over there we cannot do the mod modification to the rest of our text you can just go ahead and then select this and then type what we want so I can say subscribe and say subscribe to my channel. I already have the channel over there, so subscribe to my channel. So basically, this is how to write around. This is how to write inside a cycle. Okay, so you can write inside and change even the font, the color. If you want to use a different color, just go ahead and then do that modification to your color, change the color of your choice. So you can use this simple method to create a logo and you can also write around the path of a circle so let's try and use the same method to write around the path of a circle so we're going to do something like this so the process is going to be the same you can just replicate the same process to do the same thing around the circle so let's use the same process go back to file and let's create a new background and this time around we're not going to create any background we're not going to create any background let's just go ahead and click on ok I'm even going to change the background let me just switch back to white so for the background we'll just switch to white and then click on create so this time around we just need a path so let's go to our ellipse to select that and then our path make sure the path is selected hold on shift and then just drag okay make sure you hold on circle so hold on shift drag this around and it's going to give you this perfect circle and then we can start typing so pick your type to and then just click anywhere within the path and then it will give you option to type around so you can see automatically fill this with the color it fill this with the text but we can change the text as we want so i can see 
you can do the same thing say welcome welcome to my channel so you can see the process is basically the same so if you want to move this text around i can just click at the button use the space bar on my keyboard and then move this text around my path okay so this is how to basically write around a path or right within a circle using photoshop there's a lot of tricks coming up and you need to stay alert for that stay tuned subscribe and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video thank you so much for watching this short tutorial like come your way again remember to subscribe and then also don't forget to turn on the notification bell bye bye